Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through the Tezos chart in front of you all here and explain to you all how I get an entry and then an exit being my target uh, of a trade setup that I have ongoing for you all. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one. It's going to be really great and educational. Uh, yeah, so let's get, let's get straight into it. So the first thing that you have to think to yourself when you go onto your chart here, uh, you only ever want to be trading a chart, okay? You only want to be entering a trade within that chart when you have really strong probabilities in your favor, okay? What you have to remember that trading is a zero-sum game, okay? So you have consistent losers and you have consistent winners. Do you want to be consistently losing money in every trade that you take or do you want to be consistently winning and crushing the charts like an absolute champion? Obviously, you want to be crushing the charts and making money consistently. So if you want that, what you have to be doing is looking for really strong confluence levels. Okay, so confluence is so key in trading. How do you get confluence? Lots of different technical analysis tools. Uh, and what also is a confluence somewhat? Okay, patience, 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 patience. It's so massively important in trading, which many people psychologically struggle with. Okay. So what, what we have on this chart is, in my opinion, a just a, a brilliant setup going on. So I want to bring up, so these are some of the tools I'll be going through, going through a little bit of Elliott waves that I have going on in this upward structure here. And then how we got to the target coming down here of a lot of different confluence. I'm just going to quickly add everything onto the chart here, okay, for what we have going on, okay. Uh, we don't need this part, this part, this part quite yet. So I will remove that slightly. Uh, getting ahead of myself <laughs> and uh, yeah this is what we kind of need and we don't really need that monthly so far so when we were coming down in this section of the chart i want to explain to you what i was personally looking for okay so what we had going on was originally the move down so from low to high you can see how we come down here really nicely to this 618 level and you've got a 35 percent increase in price so really strong bounce nearly 40 percent actually increase in price from that 618 you come down you touch it again for a double bottom and then you come down you know, equally amount, uh, you know, quite a few times going into, you know, the start of April, which looks like a descending triangle, doesn't it? Somewhat being our high, lower, high, lower, high, lower, high, lower, high, lower, high, and a flat floor. Okay. So in this scenario, what are you waiting for? Well, personally, I, I'm waiting for like swing failure patterns. And I'm going to play a quick clip for you all uh, over from the chat. This is the uh, contenders live stream. Okay. So the contenders live stream uh, on the 25th of March, I'm going to play you just a quick 15 second clip so you can hear in the time what I was kind of looking and waiting for. So we've said now we can like try and join into some confluence. Sort of oh yeah, it's on times two speed, but I always watch and stuff and everything on times two. <laughs> First one I really always like, as you all know, really like to go for these one to one extensions, okay? And that is, I'll, I'll do it so you can all see. So that's obviously from our high to our low to this next high, okay? And you can see the one to one extension both times was not quite hit, okay? So it's really, really real slight front run, okay? So you've got the slight front run and actually a 34% bounce before coming down for a double bottom and, you know, fizzling out somewhat, okay? So it's maybe like a descending triangle. It looks like it's going to break down. Okay, so that's the first thing that we have. So that was me explaining back on the 25th of March how we were looking to look for this swing fire pattern. So what I really wanted to see was a sweep of the lows, okay? Sweep of the lows and then gain bullish market structure uh, over in the champions live uh, group you can see here the comment from the 1st of March uh, where people were eagerly waiting for this setup to occur and get an entry trigger. Okay, and you can see here back on the 1st of March how we did swing failure pattern those lows. Okay, so we're coming down swinging, you know, taking out the lows and then regaining structure e.g. giving you a opportunity for a long position. So that's firstly what coming into play, you know, why you have to be patient, okay? So the patience required is, is not entering trades while you're coming downwards here, but really waiting for like swing failure pattern. Once you've seen the swing failure pattern, looking for bullish market structure. And then this was a setup then that I gave on the 8th of the 4th, okay? And now we're on the 20th of the 4th. So this was the 8th of the 4th, another setup that I was giving to everybody over, this is chart of the week, by the way. So chart of the week is where I handpick the best chart of what I'm looking to trade. And uh, this was the setup that I was looking at right then, okay? And this was looking, after we had, you know, clearly broke up there, I was obviously in it from down here, but this was another secondary setup. We had our break upwards, okay? So we swing failed the lows, we broke up, and then I was looking for a retrace onto the 382 Fibonacci level to trade it up for the monthly. So this is about a 20% gain. OK, so that was the setup that I was giving to everyone back on the 8th. And then this is how that also traded out. As you can see here, going back to this section, you see the break up, OK, to the highs, come down to the 382. So that's giving us our entry trigger. And you can see that with here. OK, so we saw the break up onto the 382. We get this triangle structure here and now another break up. So if I just add in everything that we have here. Okay, so everything added back onto the chart. So now this brings us to where we are now. OK, so the reason why I wanted to go over that originally it's because you can see how we got to here, okay? Uh, the patience required when you're trading, okay? So the patience required of like waiting for this one-to-one -one, and I will 
put on this one to one one more time for you all so you can see exactly how I was doing that from the high down to that low here back up to that high so one two three you can see the one to one comes in here you miss it well you front run it slightly on the 618 you then get another bounce off of it descending triangle break down swing the lows okay come back in, in bullish market structure take the highs onto the 382 that's obviously your entry trigger here in the end you go in my opinion into a triangle so if i just hide that risk or reward uh, so that's the cool to go on. And then you go into this like A, B, C, D, E triangle and you break up again from that triangle. OK, as to be expected when you're looking for like clearly like just a simple A, B, C. And then that you get also on this the one to one extension taken from the low of the A. Uh, you can see where you're finding resistance right now is the monthly and the one to one. So that like brings you up to where you are now. Firstly, um, yeah, patience, massively key. If you cannot time entries, because many, of you know, think about it, a lot of the time you can be correct on your thinking of that. Let's say, for example, Bitcoin, you can be correct on thinking where Bitcoin's going to go. But if you time your entry wrong, you can get stopped out before it goes where you're, you're thinking the same here. If you are longing Tezos here with your stops below, below the low, you will get stopped out of Tezos and miss a 30% rise to the upside. Obviously, you're going to kick yourself. Um, so, you know, the, the timing of an entry is massively important. OK, so waiting for entry triggers is, you know, really, really key. And on top of that, seeing the confluence. OK, so here you obviously have. Uh, well, we actually had more. We have more, which I went over. I like I'll one one try and uh, quickly find this in the video. Um, uh, well, basically here, yeah, this is the, this is it as well. You have the 618 Fibonacci speed fan as well. Okay, so you had a few different confluences. You had the speed fan, the bottom of this channel, by the way. So look at the trend line that's coming off the bottom of this channel. Touch number one, touch number two, extending it on. Look how lovely this last touch of it was. Touch number three before bouncing up. So that is a lovely trend line support, by the way. One, two, third there. Uh, but yeah, it was just the, the confluences that you have. So that's like four different confluences. And what we can say is remember that trading, OK, trading is a game of probabilities. There are no guarantees. You cannot guarantee that this is going to win, you know, hence why you have a stop loss. Or if you're trading off the swing failure, have a stop loss, you know, really below the channel, really. OK, so both of these setups have invalidations because I acknowledge I can be wrong. There's, there's no guarantee I'm going to win this trade. Uh, and I like to place my stop loss or I like to get out of a trade because I use soft stop losses. I like to get out of a trade when my idea has been invalidated. OK, and I will stay in that trade um, either for a time based stop sometimes. But nevertheless, I'm staying in a trade until I'm invalidated. OK, I'm not going to be exiting early. I'm not going to be closing early. I'm going to be staying into targets and I'm going to be uh, I'm, I'm going to be out of a trade when I'm invalidated because I do acknowledge trading is a game of probabilities. There are no certainties. Um, but yeah, this was obviously a highly probable trade when we have so much confluence coming together in this region. There, the probabilities are that you're going to go up from here rather than continue down, even if it's just a bounce to continue back down. Ultimately, when there's this much confluence, you do expect a bounce. Uh, another thing that's really important is that many people struggle psychologically. We've seen a really nice setup and then just not taking the trade because they're so scared and that is something that you're going to have to obviously work on but nevertheless execution is a massive part of trading uh psychologically so uh yeah when you see this sort of setup we obviously had this really nice one and then this goes into in my opinion a b c d e triangle break up from this triangle again so well what i'm looking at here is more of a zigzag pattern okay zigzag pattern uh could be a wxy because you can see here this is like three that's clearly like a three structure OK, and then we're getting another three here. So we could, yes, absolutely end here in a WXY. Uh, so this is something that I'm I am aware of. OK, so I think you've got a few then really important support and resistance if you're looking to trade Tezos. For me, yeah, absolutely. This monthly level is massive. <laughs> okay, It really, really is massive. Uh, so if you can claim the monthly, I suppose you, what you can look at is a little bit on like a smaller term time frame. If, if you're looking at this as the breakup and maybe this is some sort of wave four before we push up for a fifth. Uh, but nevertheless, if we do push up for a fifth here and then start, we've already got bearish divergences, by the way. So I'll show you this. You've already got bearish divergences for me. So if you come up for the fifth, if you do push up again for a fifth and you push up again on bearish divergences, it's really likely that this is going to fall down. OK, you can see bearish divergences occurring there and you can also see bearish divergences even bigger here. So you see these massive bearish divergences. So you've seen it across several, several indicators. So it's really likely that it's going to top out soon, but there might be one more push up before that happens. But um, nevertheless, the monthly level for me is more key because I trade more for market structure than indicators. So the monthly level, if you can claim the market structure, if you can claim the monthly on really nice volume, 
and then i suppose yeah you are going to be looking up to the middle of the channel slash all-time highs again well this is obviously on the binance chart but all-time highs once again on this chart if we can claim this level with an increase in volume okay so that's massively important and yeah i would expect all-time highs again but if we do push up again bearish divergences decreases in volume okay or we just fall down from here because you know the odds of playing this last last leg up are pretty low let's be honest so if we do fall down from here then you still have the weekly okay you still do have this massively important weekly okay so pull back down to there or back up to the middle of the channel again which will come into this structure offers good opportunities for a long again i must stress this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor do your own research do your own trades uh educational for purposes only and all that good stuff but nevertheless uh yeah a pullback into this region is, is going to offer somewhat of a good opportunity to you because you're coming into big areas of support with upward sloping you know this channel as you can see has been very perfectly respected so whether you get this final push up before down whether you fall down from here i think is another time of patience like would i enter a trade right here you know i don't short actually tezos but if i was looking for a long would i long here absolutely not i would have to be patient i'd have no other choice but to be patient than wait for a drop or to wait for an increase in price and buy a pullback if it's looking healthy okay so this is the you know a massively important thing in trading I, I you know if you spend a day at the computer 80 you know, that's not a good example let's just say 80 percent of the time when you when you're trying you, you should be in no positions you should be patiently waiting on the sideline and only 20 percent of your time in a trade sort of thing like most of the time you have to be patient and you are waiting for these high probability setups to come to you okay so never chase a trade but rather wait for that trade to come to you okay maybe then you find yourself taking 50 percent less trades but you're going to see your win rate increasing it should increase 50 percent but obviously that's got to be personal depending on how good you are at trading but nevertheless patient one would envision that patience equals a higher win rate because you're taking more bet you're taking a better quality of trade okay as long as your technical analysis is good anyway um so yeah this was a nice one that i wanted to go over with you all obviously not bitcoin uh, but bitcoin i have been trading really well <laughs> are you surprised uh, this was what i was going over yesterday in the champions live stream so again really important highlighting patience okay so we're sat at you know around 7200 is here is actually 7150 okay so 7150 i was being patient waiting for a drop down to 6890 being our point of control this is sierra charts by the way i get so many questions sierra charts okay it's a platform that i use to trade and chart on so what i'm seeing here is a drop down or what i'm envisioging and what i want to happen is a c i'll drop down here from 7150 to 6890 and from there i'm expecting another increase in price as you can see here again in the champions live stream last night looking for this decrease in price to the weekly and then bouncing okay and this is what happened okay we got up I'll, I'll load it i'll load it up on this chart it's easier for people to understand so we got our move down onto that key level 6890 and now we currently sit even higher let's just load up this chart a second let is just load this up look at it look at it how perfectly perfectly per just absolute perfection we see the drop down onto the weekly okay actually bottoming here around 6888 before seeing this lovely lovely increase in price so again this is just highlighting massively the importance of patience in trading okay patience as i kind of like noted to people in the group i do need to go back over here and update some things but uh yeah as i'm saying here like isn't it wonderful when you have a plan and it trades out so well one trade every few d every few days is all you need and it literally is like one trade every few days is all you need in trading okay because you know i guess if, if you get a trade like tezos <laughs> then it's even better obviously this is going to last more than a day because it's a swing trade but nevertheless this one trade can earn you more money than what people earn in a whole year okay so you know it's crazy amount of money that you can make when you swing trade altcoins but then also as well as that you know bitcoin one trade a day you know uh, when again we're looking at high probability trades we're looking at drops drops down into high levels of confluence okay so you can you know you're seeing really high levels of confluence at this area you know you're expecting bounces off of these levels and are you surprised we catch the bottom by literally two dollars before an increase in price by now over two percent it's just absolutely lovely it really really is lovely and you know i have such a passion for trading i have such a passion for this i absolutely love it and when i literally have to spend 10 minutes a day and make uh you know decent amount of money trading it's just it really does reward it really rewards skill i suppose and being a zero-sum game you know for every winner there's a loser okay and you just want to make sure you're crushing these charts and you're winning uh which has been yeah lovely and emphasized there by a 30 percent increase in price you know perfect technical analysis being respected there 
Um, yeah, and yeah, so I want to wrap it up here then by emphasizing how I would go, go on to trade this, okay? So I would really expect, a, you know, I would, I would favor a pullback. Maybe we get this final leg up in the C wave, okay? But overall, it looks looking like a WXY correction. OK, uh, so we might get this final push up in the fifth, as you can see, wave one, two, three, four uh, up for a fifth. So you might get fi one final push up on that push up. Look for volume. Look for if you get any divergences. If you do not get any of that, then, yeah, you can continue up to all time highs. Absolutely. But if it's what's more probable, I would have thought we get another push up here and we continue with bearish divergences. Well, you've got to be, you know, really closing out of that trade fully. Uh, you know, if you're in a long, but if you're in like zero position, then you just got to be patient waiting for those trades. And, um, you know, going back to Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, this this one is just going absolutely brilliant at the moment. But again, we're coming, you know, I've, I've already, uh, I was in a long from the low. I literally caught the low by $2. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've, I've closed that on my long, but for me, it was more of a, like a sculpt trade. So I'm happy with that. And then I'll like wait for, wait for a bit of resistance to be claimed. But yeah, I'm kind of just day trading it right now. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll end up with a little bit of a statement that if you're interested in like learning sort of these things, if you're interested in getting free, <laughs> free setups like this, uh, that was amazing. But you know, if you're more, you know, the emphasis I want to stress is, is focused on education and, and teaching you rather than just feeding off of myself. I want to teach you to do this for yourself. So if you're interested in, you know, these are some members charts, you know, they're following, you know, they've took on what I've teached and then, you know, learning, you know, you want to see these sort of charts, you know, this sort of education then uh you know come over to chartchampions.com click on you know yes show me how and you can sign up and uh join the team today and start <laughs> start making some money with us because it's been yeah i must admit it's been pretty be pretty decent uh ultimately uh lately so yeah uh, this is, again, sierra charts because i know i'm going to get a lot of questions as emphasized <laughs> today uh but yeah uh, thank you, everybody. I hope that you've enjoyed this type of video. You'll have to let me know. Um, I, I, I'm fully aware already that instantly my videos just gets disliked. So I've kind of don't care about the dislikes. So leave a comment down below if you enjoy this video and I'll happily bring you some more. Uh, or if not, then I'll, I just won't make any um, another video. So up to you. Uh, thank you, everybody. I hope that you have a brilliant day. I will end this with this, by the way. Yeah, so the, I will end with this because I did put it on Twitter. So um yeah, obviously with coronavirus, it's kind of, you know, a rubbishy kind of situation right now for everybody. So, um, yeah, my heart goes out to everybody that's, you know, like a key worker putting their lives on the line essentially for for everybody. And it's I, I my, my heart goes out to all of you. You are you guys are fully amazing. And this goes from the people that, you know, that collect the rubbish in the day to, uh, you know, the, the nurses that are literally helping people every day but like everybody that's going out to work right now I you have my full admiration you have my full respect and I must just say thank you uh for myself and, and I'm sure on everybody else in the whole world like we all just say thank you and um you know I'm, I'm just a trader at the end of the day I'm, I'm nothing special but you guys that are out there doing stuff every day you know <laughs> I, I wouldn't be able to do it so yeah thank you from the bottom of my heart and uh on that I just hope everybody is really well Take care of yourselves. Um, use this time to to trade because you can be in your house, uh, which is what everyone should be doing really right now is just staying inside and, you know, trying to keep everybody safe and well. So, uh, yeah, I'll end with that. Thank you, everybody, so much from the bottom of my heart. Always family number one. And, yeah, cheers. Thank you and goodbye. Bye.